Right, here I am with Bobby Roll. Bobby, why is Mark Cavendish such a great sprinter? You see the wedge he gets into when he's riding down the road at 65 kilometers an hour. Also, it's a question of the lead out from the team, a sprint parfait. Do we need to translate that, Paul? <laughs> Absolutely. Wait, but these, wait, this is for the, the American perfect, market. Perfect sprint. And also, you know what? When you have the best sprinter, it's a lot easier to do your job. So if George Hincapi gets his sprint right, then he knows Mark Cavendish cannot be beaten. So, uh, But what, what are the other guys doing wrong? They're all complaining that he's too fast, but they've got to do something. Getting the brakes and hope they don't chase. <laughs> You can't beat Cavendish in the sprint. You know, nobody's fast enough. He did uphill, downhill, flat, crosswind. Uh, they blow the race apart if they need to, so there's nobody else. Come on. Yeah, what about if they lead the sprint out themselves instead of letting his team take control because they're well, then that, yeah, falling that, into submission? Yeah, but you're thinking about who who's uh, who's on a, a team, like Cervella for uh, Torhusha, for example. Who can go as fast as George Hincapi with the kilometer to go? Bradley Wiggins? He's waiting for the general classification. So, uh, so basically what you're saying is the others are all soft. They're soft as, as you know what. <laughs> we can't say it. But. Sprint today? I don't think so. I think, uh, I think it's going to be a, a breakaway that succeeds today. All right. Thanks, Bob. See you later. Have a good call.